Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I wish you guys could see what I got in my brain for this. You're gonna know. All right, it's morning, it's early. And I've drug Hunter out of bed. <laughs> We're headed to Colorado this morning. So it's a two part trip. We're gonna leave Ben and Sean here in the shop to get uh, some stuff done. And me and Hunter, we're road tripping. We're going to get a three-wheeler in Denver. Three-wheeler that I've always wanted back. I sold one when I got married and I needed it back. So we found one, tracked it down, and we're going to get it. Time's a coming, Hunter. You'll end up selling all your toys that you like because your wife's pregnant. And she needs a car that will fit kids. Actually, it was a three-wheeler, 86 250R. But wouldn't change any of it. I'd sell it all again. You can always get more stuff. It's just stuff. Which, by the way, I'm looking for an 86 250R three-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you out there have one or know one. And then we're going to get our special project. We're going to show you when we get there on it. It's pretty dang cool, and it's just for fun. So we're going to get it, and we'll uh, see how this all turns out. Let's go. Just rolling into Green River. Gonna get us a little splash of fuel, some refreshments, and back on the road again. So, lots of driving today. All right, we got us some uh, fuel, got some Mountain Dew, some food. Next stop, wherever we pick up this. Can we tell him what it is yet? I don't think so. I think you wait. And you you probably ought to just wait and see what it is. It's pretty cool. All right, we just crossed into Colorado. So, we're officially in Colorado now. The three-wheeler's getting picked up, but that's in Denver, so we're stopping first to pick our surprise thing up, then we're heading to get my three-wheeler, so. I wonder what Ben and Sean are doing. What I do you think they're, they're doing? The shank. I hope they're getting that water pump put on the FJ today. But, you know, when the boss is away, we'll see what they do. You know all about that. I don't know what you you're talking about. about that. Yeah. All right, here we go today. And it's just Sean and I today. It's just us. There's nobody else here. But we have the FJ here. We got to work on that. We got a pump leaking. I wonder what they're doing. I think they took off in a truck and went somewhere. So they're playing or working. Really? That's how it goes. I'm sure. He did leave the boat. Maybe we should take that. <laughs> Uh, we'll see if we can get this done and uh, we'll have to see where they're at. So this stretch of road we're on right here, Sean and I were coming hunting in Colorado one year. We're in my old Dodge. We have a four-wheeler trailer behind us with a four-wheeler on it and then the front full of oak. We're cruising down this road and it's rough. You can we're hitting these things. The trailer breaks in half. <laughs> Like, with a four-wheeler on it? Yes. <laughs> with a four-wheeler on it. It just like bends in half and it's dragging down the road. Just think of the tongue. The way the tongue, tongue yes. Or something. So we pull over to the side of the road. We throw all the wood off. And we, we don't have anything. We're going hunting. So we take our handyman, strap it to the tongue, take a ratchet strap and wrap around it. Here goes Paul fixing his high dollar trailer that breaks in half twice going to and from Colorado. We got three pieces of pipe and a handyman. We're going to make it home. And we motor on to Grand Junction. Go to Home Depot. My brother comes. He's behind us. Curtis and my brother. And we buy some black pipe at Home Depot and hose clamps. <laughs> and we put around this trailer tongue and hose clamp it all back together and go hunt. And then drive it all the way home. That's the cool. say. It was a jet ski trailer, is what it was. And I turned it into a four wheeler trailer, but I didn't beef the tongue up enough. And yeah, we found the weak spot. That ain't the same trailer that you tried giving me the other day. After I rebuilt it, it's the same trailer. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It really no, is. It's the same trailer. <laughs> no, no I rebuilt the tongue and stuff actually, on it. Yeah, that's the same that's trailer. Funny. I think of that every time I drive on this piece of road. But yeah, Sean and I, we about had a bad day on this road. This is some pretty crazy country we're in looking for this. We'll find it. It's somewhere here. 
We're getting close. I'm getting kind of nervous a little bit. Are you? Yeah. I hope it's good. Well, there's just, he doesn't, hasn't said anything really. It's yeah, like, it's a, we're kind of shooting in the dark here. We are. Like no communication back and forth. We had to get Hunter to message him <laughs> to answer us back. We're gambling, but we really want this. We've been looking for one for a long time. Finally found what we wanted. So we just drove five and a half hours. We're 0.4 miles away from it. Oh yeah. That blazer looks like one. There's a lot of old cars kicking around Point in Colorado. Two, I think that's where we're going. Yep, that's it. We'll pull in there. That's where we're going. Let's pull over here and talk to him. Let's see. We've been looking all over and <laughs> never found the one that we really wanted. Uh huh. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that thing's so ugly. That's <laughs> awesome. You gonna paint it or anything? No, or? I wouldn't either. <laughs> I don't. I don't know 100, percent but does it have a motor in it currently? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we'll make that run first. You got to drive it once. This is cool. What's better than it looked like in pictures? A little bit of cancer there. Some in the back. See the wheel tubs in the back? Oh yeah. They're already big enough for giant tires. Has a little place you could live in here, Hunter. Oh heck no. What the? <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. No, this thing will do. This is gonna be perfect for what we're after. This is the one, we're loading it. This one's going home with us to Utah, so we didn't drive six hours for nothing. All right, we're gonna roll over there and load this bus up and hit the road again. Oh yeah. <laughs> this thing's pretty dang cool. I mean, we get a broom with it, we can clean up. Well, that's the battery hole. Oops. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I feel like, get in. Boom, boom. Windshield wipers, adjust the mirror. Sit down back there. Everybody on? Good, great, grand, wonderful. No yelling on the bus. I think I can do it, right? <laughs> I think so. Slam on your brakes, throw people in the seat. There's, there's not any brakes, uh, just in case you're wondering. There's a little clutch though. We're stuck in gear and the brakes seem to be on. Oh no, it just shifts funny, like to the floor. Okay. So it's been my, my dream for a while to build a school bus. Not like to haul your kids to school kind of a bus, but like, Load some of your buddies in the back and go do dumb stuff, bus. That's what I want to do. This is kind of a center drive even, the way the seat sets in here. You have a buddy sitting behind you. I'm excited. There's some stuff going down with this, but it's going to be cool. But it's going to take a lot of work, as you can see. I mean, rabbits have been living in here, basically. So we got a lot to do. But we can't do any of it until we load it and get it to the shop. So here we Let's get her done. I feel like I should hook around that axle. So that's what I'm gonna do. What do you think the odds are of this Badlands pulling it right on? I think it will. I hope it will. Oh yeah, she's moving. Wow, you can steer it, winch it. Tell me when I'm just barely gonna hit that. There you go, now you're on it. So, that's that's heavy. Just in case you're wondering. Might should have brought some 
some uh, jump packs. To put on the old battery. Come on, solar light. What's going on with it's you? It's a Char family doll. Charge up. <laughs> a little solar light. It's going to be fine, Hunter. We're going to get this. You just patience. It's a virtue. Look at that four-door Dodge Dart. He's got some pretty cool stuff. That's a unibody Ford. Might take a minute. Oh, look at them. They're yeah, actually yeah. working. What? Of course we're working. No, Ever you're not. Picture? That looks better in real life. It's pretty good. That looks like fun to get on there. Well, if I'd have brought a jump pack, it would have been not oh, bad. Our battery's oh, half dead. I got a picture of it. All right, I got to go get in. We'll slide this ramp. I like it. We still got enough room to stash the three-wheeler in the front of there, so let's strap her down. That was easy. You said it wouldn't do it. <laughs> not, not with your family dollar solar panel. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be back trucking, putting on the miles. Super exciting, this thing's gonna be cool. I wish you guys could see what I got in my brain for this. I guess we jump back in the truck and head for Denver. <laughs> so here we go. We're not as good as hey. Hunter. See, look at that. Look at that. But see, Sean's already got it out. It's it's we're, all but there. We're to it. And we, we made it good <laughs> Paul would be proud. When it hits the so, front it's end, good. it just runs. <laughs> you just leave it. Yeah, you can't catch it. It just runs. So almost there, and then we'll put the next bump on. So we'll let you. We'll let you know. We'll try. Hunter's not here. <laughs> All right, we just uh, got back to Grand Junction. Got some food. We're dropping the trailer here to truck stop. And we're gonna blaze to Denver. Get the three wheeler. Come back tonight. Hook onto the trailer drive as far as we can. It's a lot of driving, not much sleeping. We're gonna make it. We're in Glenwood Canyon right now. It's pretty gnarly. I come, come hunting up in this country, so I'm, I'm familiar with it. First time for Hunter, he's seeing how rugged these mountains really are. Grandma takes over. Mom cleans up after you like I always have done. <laughs> Can you give us the John Denver? The Rocky Mountains. That John Denver, yeah. <laughs> I thought the Rocky Mountains would be a whole lot <laughs> yeah, rockier. they took the wrong turn. I expected the Rocky Mountains to be a little rockier than this. That John Denver's full of man. Totally redeemed yourself. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They should river raft that one. Yeah, that's a good rapid right there. That's, all of those are grade three rapids. All right, we're on the Eisenhower. We're just going into one of the tunnels right now. Johnson Tunnel, 1979. We're inside a tunnel. Just in case you're wondering, hey, there we go. The power's out. It's all because it rained. I think somebody hit a telephone pole or a fire. Who knows? I don't think we're doing much, so I wonder what Paul and Hunter are doing because we're not doing anything right now. We'll have to work outside. Well, we'll check in with them. We're getting close to where we usually hunt. Check these mountains out. I like just coming up here and, and hiking in it. I mean, sure, I'm hunting, but I'm hiking and enjoying it more than yeah, I'm anything. For sure. I haven't killed a deer in Colorado in like six years, but I've came every year and hunted and just spent a week hiking around up here just because there's nobody. 
Got my boys with me. No power. There's there's no power at all. It's dark. So had to jack it up, which it's really dark here. I'll shine my light. So there we go. Jack it up to get the arms out. Yeah. So we can at least get the uh, FJ off. See, we're still on the hoist. We won't be in a minute. All right, made it out of the tunnel. Now we're on the downward slide into Flatlander country. So. All right, we'll warm it up. Make sure we got no problems. Just smoking. And all right. All right, we are, uh, we're close to finding the three-wheeler here. Right. 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 Better have been worth it. I, it's, I hope it's a good wheeler. It's coming up. Right here. That one? Yeah, there he is. There it is. Oh! We'll back in there. Bring back memories already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no can. Look. Let's uh, bail out of here. That's it, huh? Yeah. Look at that. That looks exactly like the one I had. Is it? Yep, it's identical. Same deal. Same wheels, everything. I even had those tires on the back of it. Did you? I had a different front tire. Mine had the long ribs on the front. That's cool. My brother used to this thing. Scoop. Oh yeah, they're fast. Wow. When did it run last? I just, just started. Oh, it runs. <laughs> Sweet. It's ready to go, man. FJ's done. We're gonna go drive it, yeah. see what it does, and uh, maybe go wheeling or something. We'll go play. Why not? We made it back to Paul's house. What do you think, Ben? Everything works good on it, so I'm thinking maybe we should go somewhere. Quit raining. Quit raining. It's good weather. FJ's somewhere else. rolling. Hmm. We hear the fishing's good. Ooh, fishing. There's something over there. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going. Let's get the boat. Let's go. Yep, just like my bike. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm happy. It was worth the drive. Lots of hours, but it was worth it. Slide it up in. I don't need any broken windows or anything crazy <laughs> for the ride home. I'm never gonna sell it. <laughs> I sold them once, I'll never sell it again. Cool. So, yep, my kids will have to sell it if someone's gonna get it from me. <laughs> this means a ton to me. Pleasure meeting you guys. Yeah, it was a pleasure. If you're ever in Southern Utah, yeah, we'd look I'd us like up. Yeah, stop by for sure. <laughs> that thing's pretty cool. That's sweet. It's pretty clean. It actually sounds like it runs pretty good. It, it's not jetted proper, but yeah, it it's good. It's gonna be easy to tune and put together and we'll have ourselves a pretty sweet wheeler just like the one I sold back in the day. All right, Hunter. Five hours. <laughs> Four. Four to the trailer, right? Four to the trailer. Four to the trailer, two more to Green River, and then sleep for a few hours, and then four and a half more home. Jeez. <laughs> we got this. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we 
got some terrible lighting conditions. <laughs> it's dark. It's 11.02 at night. We've been going since 6 this morning. So it's been a long day to say the least. But we got the trailer hooked back on. The bus is on the back. We loaded the three-wheeler on the trailer. We're hooked up. We got an hour and a half. We're going to crash in Green River tonight for a few hours and then homeward bound. So. All right. So we've made it to Green River. We're done. It's like 1230. We're crashing for a few hours before we head home. Party. Yeah, we're sleeping in the truck because we're too lazy to go to a motel and we're out of here tomorrow. So until then, we're going to sleep. the worst sleep I've ever gone through. He snores so loud. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Look at this text message I got from Ben. It's my FJ hooked onto my boat and it says, off to the lake. We're working and they're playing. What the heck? We can't leave those guys hunting. No. Let's go home. Let's do it. All right, that we're was a long here. night. It's a pretty long night. This truck smells terrible. It does. And it's you, it's not me. I was just airing out last night. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good God. memories anyways. Yeah, when I woke up and my throat was all dry, I'm like, oh, I bet I stored like crazy last time. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right. We are off. We're out of here. We're gonna be home in no time. We know this road be home before well. freaking noon. Oh yeah, Sean. Sean will be just getting to work. Go ahead, little hunter. Get some shot eye. All right, we haven't filmed a lot today because Hunter's been sleeping. <laughs> I'm so tired. And still. I've been driving. We are uh, 40 minutes from home currently, so we had to stop, top the old fuel off to get us home. It's burned a lot of fuel today. Must have been a headwind or something, I don't know. This bus is not very aerodynamic that we're dragging, so you can tell it's back there. But we're about home, and then uh, a shower and a nap and back to work. No rest for the wicked hunter. Yeah, yeah. Boy. All right. We made her. We're in Glendale. Home sweet home. There's home. We made her. It's been a long couple of days, but we're back. We got home with the bus and my three-wheeler. Uh, no flat tires on that trip. Pretty amazing, really. I can't wait to get working on this thing. We got a few more parts to acquire. We have the axles. We have the bus now. We still gotta figure out suspension. We gotta get the motor, we have it. We just gotta go get it home. Just round some more parts up. But for now, we'll get back on the off-road rollback, get that thing finished so we can drag this old girl in the shop. So. And for all you naysayers that say the rollback is not gonna get done soon, you just wait and see. All right, it's a new day. We're headed over to the boneyard. First thing, we gotta go get a Cummins. We need the motor out of it. So we're gonna go grab this. Come back, gut the motor, and get it setting in the frame. So we'll head out. All right, so the red one we parked here the other day is in the way now, which why not? Back it up, and then we're after that white dodge in the background. Now on to the truck that we came for. 
see how we're going to get this out of here. You want to get the roll back right to it? We might be able to come through there and just roll it on. That may be smarter. Yeah, that may be smarter. Probably smarter. Good idea, Sean. Pretty clean, isn't it? Pretty clean. Wow. All right, I'm excited. This is going to be a good deal. We'll have this motor out of this truck today and setting in that other frame. all the dad power right there. Holy cow. You know it. Don't mess with that. <laughs> yeah. motor out of this thing. <gasps> Still running. Still running. <laughs> well, we got batteries charged up on her anyway. <laughs> we may or may not have left that running all night. Batteries are charged. How did we forget that? <laughs> That's funny right there. Since we're over here, we thought we would uh, show you Michelle's Jeepster. It's going to happen here shortly. This old jewel is going to come to the shop and get some work done to it. We're going to, the Suburban that she crashed a year ago, we're going to take the 5.3 out of it and the 4L60. I actually just purchased a transfer case. I'm collecting parts for this thing. I have uh, Super Duty axles for it. So I about have all the pieces. She's about ready to come to the shop and get worked on. So you'll see this before long. It's coming. I can't believe I left that thing running. Glad it didn't run out of fuel. And it could have been bad. Oh well, live and learn. We were busy doing stuff. So this truck, last time I know, well, I was the last one to start it and it was like five years ago. So we're gonna see if we can get her to fire. Oh, the squirrels have been in it. <laughs> Maybe we ought to pull it over and pressure wash this too. Look how clean that is, Hunter. You just don't see that. I, I... Maybe we ought to just pressure wash it right here Gosh, before we nice. start it. Let's do that. Cause I don't want to play with the, the rat nice. droppings. I'm going to drag the washer over. We're going to wash this off. Then we'll pull it in the shop. All right. I think the easiest way is to 
start this thing and pull it in the shop. Hey, the wipers are on. We've got all sorts of stuff going on here. Kids have been in it. All right. Hmm. Five years. Oil pressure. Seems good. Why didn't you drive it? Tranny's bad. Oh, really? Yeah, you'll see in a second. I love diesels. You don't have to clean carburetors. Uh, now we'll see if it moves. The tranny doesn't feel very happy. I think we'll let it drip dry and then we'll just push it in the shop. It runs. Sounds good, just like I remember it. Hopefully I can fit that giant intercooler in there so it stays cool. Yeah. It'd be nice if I can fit this radiator and everything in the front of that. That's, we're gonna try. I'd like to be able to just stop at auto parts store and be like, I got a 97 Cummins, I need this. AC's still blowing cold. It, it's not switching from defrost, but this is blowing cold out of the defrost. Pretty cool, Ben's gonna have him a nice old truck. Minus the motor. All right, I gotta undo a fuel thing, so right there. Okay. I can do that. Take that off and we got her. Good. Probably factory antifreeze. It's a sad day in the shop. My last handful of beaver nuggets. Michelle brought these back from Florida for me. They're delicious. But, all good things come to an end, I guess. <laughs> we use that much in an afternoon sometimes. We haven't even got into the oil yet. It's gonna look like we had a wood shop in here shortly. <laughs> Looks like you're planting a garden. I'm rolling dice. <laughs> That's probably the right. Hold on to it! I just got heavy. Hello, <laughs> what time is it? I cut an entire apple tree down with this and up into firewood on one battery. Really? Yeah. All right. It's uh, it's pretty good. How much antifreeze could this truck hold possibly? I mean, it's been dripping for like 20 solid minutes. I don't even think this tranny's burned up. The torque converter just died.
ja! Now. Grab a bar. Let's uh turn this long ways. I guess it's all right. I just feel like it's gonna try to nose dive on me. I'll watch it fall. Don't worry. Yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> Okay. You're out. We'll do one of these maneuvers. Go down. Oh, that's. Yep. Oh, Hold on. Let's not go that far down. Okay, go down a little bit more right there. Maybe go down just a, a fraction more. Okay, we got it. Okay, down. come down. All right. Good. Feels like it's good. Yep, good. Go down. That wasn't so bad. I mean, we got it. Wasn't bad at all. All right, we'll hurry and wasn't get it? the. You were fine. <laughs> we'll hurry and get the motor jerked out of it now, and then get this truck out of here and get the motor setting back in the other one. We're probably not going to bore you with pulling the motor out of this unless we light it on fire or something crazy happens because it's just pulling a motor. So we'll show you that when we get to it. We can get to this thing now. We've only got two motor mount bolts left and our 12 valve comes out. And then we take all the back of that 24 valve off, put it on the back of this 12 valve. We should be able to, ready to put it in our truck. Stretch it out. Oh, I got Pull it towards you. Oh, you're caught on that extent back. Oh yeah, I see the problem. Let off. Come on. Okay, pull towards you. There we go. All right, motor is out. Next project, switch the back ends of them and then bolt it in our 04 frame. So this is a 97. We just needed the 12 valve out, which is that one. Now, we're going to take the back end of the 04, put on the 97, put in the 04 frame. So, you following me? We've got lots going on, but we're getting there. We're getting closer to being down to, let's see, once we get this done, we'll be down to one, two, three trucks at that point that we're still <laughs> stealing stuff off of. So, we're getting there. So working on these Cummins, this back plate is a little different. Starter has is a different thickness right here, everything. So we have to take this automatic one off, put the standard one off of that one on here. Supposedly the holes don't line up exactly. We have to wobble them out of 
swallow them a little bit, but we're about to find out. Bannon's getting her done. Set that there. It looks like the holes are off just a little. We may have to call a friend here. Phone a friend. Merlin. We'll be calling him to find out how this all works. Alright. So I see the the one that Sean's talking about. There's the one bolt one. that's off a little bit. Uh, it's this one right here. And that one doesn't. That one doesn't. I guess maybe you don't need that bolt. <laughs> I'll call and verify, but evidently you don't need that bolt because it doesn't line up. And that one has to get notched a little. We're lightening it up. Faster. Yeah. I'm better than Chrysler's engineers because I did it without that bolt. All right, so we called Merlin. Apparently, I don't know very much about diesel motors. We're putting this back together how it was because he said, I'm using the original adapter. I'm putting a spacer behind the starter with a whole bunch of explicit language. He told me this, as you can imagine. But I now know that this, does, this is how it has to be. We'll put it back together and here we go again. Got to get Loctite. We're back to where we started. Chrysler did no more than I did evidently. We've got all the bolts back in it. Now we're going to put a flywheel on it. There's that. Stack the clutches in it now and then we're ready to put a motor in. We're gonna get this all put together and not be able to start it <laughs> because we don't have a, an adapter for the starter, but we will have one. Okay, go grab a ratchet and we'll tighten those. Again. It's us again, Margaret. <laughs> it's me again, Margaret. Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta undo some steering stuff, get it out of the way, some brakes. Over there resting. Okay. This uh this'll tell you how good the turbo was. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the turbo oh. wheel. <laughs> that's uh, funny. That's this not cat, very good. We'll throw it in the cat pile and it can go get changed. I think you should that's that funny right there. Slide in there, man. A lot of weight you're swinging around there. See that those are gonna match up, do you? No. Get a wrench. Let's pull those off. We may just cut those ears right off. Maybe we'll just do that now. We'll just cut them off and move them forward. That's gonna be smarter. Then we can use factory mounting stuff. And this one's like 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 11 and a half. Yeah, I think we'll just cut them loose. And we'll just move them and drop it back in and weld them in the frame. That'd be, yeah. So you use the factory everything. Yeah. I don't want to get crazy and cut the frame. Way tougher than I anticipated it being. Oh, there's a plug weld in That's what I Got it. We might do a little work. <laughs> All for one inch. I'm gonna let the trans down a little. There we go. 
apparently. Now it's got to come back together. Got a twist just a little bit. Looks like they're gonna just fit. You tell me when now, Hunter. Right there. That'll work. Then we'll just tighten them down. Like we gotta do a little, gotta set it down in the frame a little bit better than that, but yeah, roughly we just had to slide them forward an inch and then they'll fit. Okay, let's, we gotta lift this other side up a little. Like dark. Did hey, it go? yeah. Hammer. It did. Oh yeah. Okay, tighten it. Yeah, it's set right down in there. That's a job well done today, Hunter. Motor's in, we, we're minus the starter thing. Next time, you guys see this truck? We're gonna, Marlon's gonna help me with the killer dowel pin in the front of it. And then we're going to turn the fuel up on it, do a bunch of stuff. See if we can't make it run, I guess. And put a cab on it probably, so. Till then, thanks for watching.